Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was lift. Gotta get a bitch, I lick. Hold my shot, we lick. Hold that bad little bitch. Hold that bad little bitch. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto, coming back at it again with another daily DGen update. Now, if you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a DGen Yield Farm channel. So if you guys are brand new to Yield Farming in general, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials, ask a whole bunch of questions around all these community telegrams, and once you guys kind of get a wrap around everything, come on back. Besides all of that, I always go through all the chains that I have listed in the video title. So if there's like a particular chain you guys stick to, feel free to check out the timestamps listed below. But as you guys can see, today's video is super short, so we're just going to keep it going. So first one up, we're going to go ahead and skip BSE. You guys already know what's up. And over here on Phantom, you guys still have Trick. If you guys come over here, check out that, you know, that price chart. Like I always tell you guys to check out. You guys can see, man, it's been sideways. That's perfect LP farming. So anyone who's a vet already knows what's up. Anyone who's, you know, been trying to stick around or hedge off of stuff, that would have been perfect for that. However, if you guys were in there, you guys would have definitely missed out on the Phantom Pump. So sometimes you guys kind of have to balance out whether you know you guys are holding the alts like Phantom or whether you guys could be running these farms. So, you know, teach their own. But anyways, trick or treat, still running clean. If you guys want to jump in here, you guys already know what to do. Link will be down in the description. And besides trick or treat, you guys also have Genesis. So Genesis, the farm already popped off. Make sure you guys come over here, check out the pools and the farm, see what's going on. As of right now, you know, as long as you guys are sticking close to the price chart, you guys can, you know, figure out an entry point if or when you guys want to jump in. As for me right now, you know, I'm just going to kick back and I'm going to wait for an actual uptrend. As you guys can see, you know, uptrends are always, you know, up <laughs> and downtrends are always down. So, so as of right now, you know, I'm just going to, you know, chill, relax and just wait it out. But you guys, you know, I would recommend the same. So if you guys are in here, make sure you guys check out the uh, docs. Make sure you guys check out the price chart. Like I always tell you guys, you guys will be all right. If you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. And uh, next one up, you guys got is Banshee Farms. So Banshee Farms is like a sister farms of Grim Finance since uh, they, you know, like funded them and all that stuff. So the farm is actually popping off. However, definitely stick close to that price chart. You know, it was popping off as of right now. You know, it definitely dumped out from the 60s, dumped out from the 50s. So we'll see where the, you know, the new floor is. If you guys come over here and check out the farm itself, you guys can see, you know, they actually had deposit fees on the natives, which is pretty crazy, but, you know, it is what it is. So, if you guys were in here, you guys would have known they had some issues, some something wasn't working, so they had everyone, you know, unstake and take everything to Grim. However, there is no compensation for that 1.7 deposit fee that everyone got hit by on both hits when they first deposited in here, and then when they had to redeposit into that auto compound on Grim. So, yeah, I mean, teach their own, but it is what it is. Anyways, if this is your guys' bag, you already know what to do. Make sure you guys, you know, run through the motions, check out the docs, check out the price charts, and y'all should be fine. So, like always, link will be down in the description. And besides Banshee Farms, you guys also have Xmas Pass. So, Xmas Pass, you know, we were trying to see what's going on with the actual uh, price chart. It was uh, crabbing pretty sideways for a while, and then it dropped off. So, you come over here and check out the price chart. You guys can see what I'm talking about. As of right now, looking like it's, you know, back to the little medium area where it was. However, we'll see what's going on since it's only about a day left till the farm starts. As of right now, it doesn't seem like they have a lot of exposure, which is kind of, you know, uh, explaining the uh, lack of volatility in the price chart. But that's obviously here and they're there. So anyways, if you guys are trying to check this one out or if you guys are kind of bored over there on Phantom, you guys want to see some other stuff. You guys also have this one right here. This one is KYC and their liquidity is locked, so it should be semi safe. Besides all of that, everything else supplies like normal. Come over here, hit the more, read the docs, check out the price chart, yada yada. Like I said, I don't really expect these guys a rug pull or anything, so you guys should be all right. Just go ahead and wait by that price chart like you guys see and just wait for an entry. And if you guys want to check it out, you already know what's up. It's going to be down in the description. And lastly, you guys have this uh, black goat. So obviously, if you guys can see this, you should already know who this is by. You guys can see the ecosystem. <clears throat> As you guys can see right here in the little ecosystem, it's by the same Ava Terra, Crow Terra people. So if you guys are over here on Phantom, and I guess you guys did okay on Fanterra or did terrible, and I guess just want a second round at it, whatever, then go ahead and check out Black Goat. As for me, you know, I'm not really too uh, happy with these guys. Um, everyone always asks me why, and like I said, dude, it always has to do with, you know, the actual, you know, liquidity of their token. So if you don't know what that means, if you guys come over here, 
what they actually applied when it first launched, that's what matters, dude. If they have low liquidity after four or five farms, that just lets me know that what they're trying to do is just, you know, cash grab, trying to basically get everyone to, you know, just hit deposits on all these uh, farms and pools. Trust me when I say, man, these 4% deposit fees, it does add up. So if you guys check out all their other farms, they were getting clean deposits. And I mean, you tell me, you know, you can't even use that for liquidity. It's pretty crazy, but whatever it is, what it is. So anyways, if you guys like these guys, if that's your guys' bag, cool. Here's a farm. You guys should be all right. And uh, like I said, you know, I don't think these guys are going to rug pull. So that's why it's in front of you guys. But as you guys can tell, you know, I'm not really a big fan. So anyways, if this is you guys' bag, come over here. Make sure you guys hit the little docs. Make sure you guys check out the price chart. And you guys should be all right. If you guys want to check it out, link will be down in the description. And that's basically it for Phantom. So give me a second to move on to the next chain. All right, guys. So we're over here on Kronos. And, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and uh, skip the uh, Harmony. Once again, you know, there's not really any farms or anything popping off. DeFi Kingdoms is still popping off on Harmony. So, you know, if you guys are looking for some, you know, to either put your guys' um, one or whether, you know, to get some jewel or whatever, go ahead and, you know, check that one out. But like I said, you know, we're going to go ahead and skip Harmony. So if we come over here on Kronos, first one up, Salem. So if you guys are sticking close to that price chart, like I always tell you guys, hopefully you guys, you know, sold off past 100, all right? So obviously over 100 was some good money. Anyone who was in here and anyone who was able to sell, shout out to you guys. Obviously that's what, you know, it pays to be able to buy in at the bottom, always buy in at the dips. It's kind of what I always tell you. You always got to wait for that floor. As soon as you see the uptrend confirm, you know, even if you bought in right here, <clears throat> you know, even if you bought in right here at 50 or whatever, you still were able to make some clean money. So, you know, shout out to everyone who was in there. And, you know, for all of you guys who weren't, like I said, just pay attention to those price charts. Wait for those downtrends to end. Wait for the uptrends, you know, to start appearing and then go ahead and jump in. But obviously that's NFA. You guys already know the rest. Anyways, if you guys want to check anything out over here on Chrono, go ahead and still go ahead and check out uh, Salem. It's doing all right still. It's not you know, it's doing all right still. It's not really the end of the world. Just stick close to that price chart and, you know, try to find an entry. But, um, yeah, everything else is the same. So make sure you guys come over here, hit the uh, more, try to check out the docs. After you guys check out the docs, you guys need to hit that price chart. You guys should be all right. But um, you guys already know what's up, so link will be down in the description. All right. And next one up, just like what I was talking about earlier, is the Croterra. This is their system. So if you guys are over here on Kronos, Croterra is pretty chill for about like a day and a half. If you guys are sticking close to that price chart, then that means you guys already exited over here at, you know, 350 plus. You guys are completely fine. You know, anyone who just, you know, buys in and just walks away, well, yeah, man, you guys are probably hurting right now considering that <laughs> you're basically back to where you guys bought in. So this is the importance of always sticking close to that price chart because, you know, you guys will know when to exit. It's not when I say so or when anyone else says so. It's when the chart tells you to, you know. So, <laughs> so you know, hopefully you guys weren't caught up in this. And if you guys were... You know, hopefully you guys learned a lesson. But anyways, Croterra, if you guys want to jump in here still, just stick close to that price chart. If the uptrend appears again and starts going up again, go ahead and jump in. You know, either jump into the farm, jump into the pool, whatever has higher APR. But besides all that, you already know what's up. Everything's still the same. Go ahead and check out the info, check out the docs, check out the charts, and then go ahead and make your moves. So if you guys want to check it out, like always, man, the link will be down in the description. And next one up besides that, you have this uh, MF. So... This Meerkat, it was actually pumping hard, and I wanted to show it to you guys, but it was already over a dollar something. And I kind of figured that it was going to get closer to a dollar fifty or a dollar fifty and then just tank. And obviously, it didn't hit a dollar fifty, but it definitely hit a dollar forty and it tanked. So, obviously, you know, I'm not psychic, but that is kind of what I figured. It was no correction, you know, from down here from <laughs> 30 cents. So, it had to be somewhere, right? This little correction right here wasn't enough. This was just too insane of a pump. So, Obviously, it corrected, and it corrected around here around 80 cents. A lot of people called out 80 to 90 cents, which is chill. You know, I'm not really a big TA guy. Um, still learning and all that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, shout out to all those guys who know what's up. But um, as you guys can see right here, you know, I just threw up a little level just to see where the bottom is. And then I kind of, you know, try to see where that trend is going. As of right now, it still looks like it's down. However, if we can break this out and it looks like it's climbing up, then, you know, we'll probably see what's going on. As of right now, you know... The liquidity is definitely the reason why I want to show it to you guys. If you guys are able to throw big bags at this with no price impact, trust me when I say, man, that's going to be awesome. It's awesome for farming. It's awesome for swing trading as well. But all the vets already know what's up and know what I'm talking about. For all the new guys, 
you know, every time you guys, you know, throw in a hundred, two hundred dollars and the price pumps crazy, it's because it's low liquidity. And over here, if you know someone throws in forty two thousand dollars, the price is only gonna pump up about a penny or so, one cent, two cents, and you know, that's kind of a big deal because that means when people start dumping, it dumps a lot slower. It takes a lot to start dumping. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to see that a lot quicker. You guys will be able to exit out. So, anyways, I've already spent too much time here. But, like I said, that's the only reason why I was holding it off. As of right now, if you guys want to check out the APRs, they definitely are super low. So, if you guys like how the uptrend looks on the price chart, then go ahead and jump in. And if not, just go ahead and stay out. But, you guys already know what's up. So, if you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link down in the description. And, lastly, over here. You guys got this little ducky all right so <laughs> ducky DeFi, it's a medium risk over here by a rug doc but this one was actually the uh dex that was being used to be able to pick up that like dna and that d share so if you guys were over there trying to pick that up you guys already know what's up with this one ducky the little farm actually already popped off which is kind of why i'm showing it to you guys so if you guys want to check out the pools or the farm go ahead and check those ones out it's basically native only and like I said, I'm not really a big fan of any projects that only have a native where you can't farm it. They do have one pool of this uh, Crow and USD. So, you know, if you guys want to jump in here to farm the actual native, then go ahead and do that. But the main reason why I'm really showing it off is because, like I said, it's basically kind of being used as a DEX for like certain projects. So if any of those side projects or whatever or any new projects start popping off and I mean actually pop off, obviously, you know, this DEX will probably end up popping off too. So obviously... <clears throat> So, obviously, you know, that's NFA, but, yeah, man, teach their own. Anyways, if you guys want to check this one out, like always, just check out the docs, check out the price chart, run through the motions, and you guys should be all right. If you guys check out the APRs, you guys like it, go ahead and jump in. Just make sure you guys stay close to that price chart, all right? You guys can see right now, it looks like it already found a floor, and it looks like it's on a slight uptrend. However, anything can happen, all right? If it ends up, you know, pumping super crazy around, like, 50 cents, 60 cents, like you see it here, Please believe it is possible that it's gonna dump just the same, all right? So just stay close to the price charts, and you guys should be all right. But anyways, that's Ducky, so if you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. Links will be down in the description. And that's basically it for Chrono. So like I said, make sure you guys stay close to that price chart over here on Salem, see what's going on. If you guys still like Quotera, go ahead and stay close to that price chart so you guys can find an entry. Since it's kind of, you know, dumping, this is kind of where you guys are going to catch the floor. Besides that, you guys also have that uh, Meerkat. So if you guys want to check that one out, look for an entry and go ahead and jump in. And then lastly, you guys have that uh, Duck Farm. So, you know, go ahead and check these ones out. And like I said, the links for all of these will be down in the description. And that's basically it for Chrono. So give me a second to move on over to the next chain. Well, I'll pick it up. All right, guys. So we're over here on AVAX. First one up we got is Banksy. So I told you guys Banksy had that little pre-sale. If you guys come over here, which is the, the little dashboard, you guys can hit pre-sale. You guys can hit this uh, pre-sale over here. They still definitely got that pre-Banksy sitting. And like I said, it's going to be 2 bucks per token, yada, yada. As of right now, you guys already know my stance on pre-sales. I'm really not a big fan of them, so it is what it is. For all you guys who do like pre-sales, awesome. Here's another one. For me, you know, I'm just going to kind of wait till this launches, till everyone dumps on each other. And then I'll just go ahead and pick up all of this on a discount. So that's obviously my play. It's NFA. It is what it is. But <laughs> you guys already know how it goes, so you guys over here you guys want to check it out like i said all you have to do is hit the pre-sale that'll bring you to this window you guys can go ahead and check all this stuff out besides that make sure you guys check out the docs make sure you guys know what's going on and then after you guys check out the docs come over here and check out the farms so after you guys check out the farms and pools and you guys feel you know you guys like something then like i said just stick close to that price chart once it launches so you guys know when to find an entry as of right now you know we really don't have a lot of information on the team so you know it's basically a coin flip Hopefully everything works out pretty well, but if it doesn't, like I said, it is what it is. So anyways, if you guys want to check this one out, like always, just run through the motions, check out the docs, check out the price chart. Once it pops off, like, you know, after the pre-sale, you guys should be all right. Link for this one will be down in the description. And like I said, that's basically it for AVAX. Ice Flake itself is already basically, uh, you know, dying out. So if you guys are in here, yeah, hopefully you guys are right. Hopefully you guys are making money. As you guys can see, you know, the APRs are super low. But like I said, dude, if you guys are able to find a floor or if there's something going on with the actual team or the actual farm and it pops off, awesome. So just stick close to the TG so that way you guys know what's going on. And, and you know, maybe you guys will be able to catch a pump. So anyways, on AVAX, like I said, you know, there's no disrespect to Ice Flake. But for sure, I guess the only farm that you guys should be looking at is uh, Banksy. 
as of right now, like I said, Ice Flake really isn't pulling its weight, and uh, neither is Aram. So for both of those farms, I would suggest, you know, you guys just chill and wait for, uh, you know, the price to kind of recover or, or for that reverse slash uptrend to basically make itself prevalent. But you guys already know what's up. So anyways, if you guys want to check anything else on AVAX, this is basically it. If you guys want to swing any stuff on AVAX, just stick close to the TG. We do have another, you know, TG group for that only. So if that's your guys' bag, you know, if you guys are already there or if you guys are already close to the community, you already know what's up. Your buyers are probably already in there, so anyways that's it for avax and that's basically for all the farms there's really nothing popping off over there on polygon so for sure i would suggest you know stick to avax stick to phantom and stick to chrono so but you already know what's up so that's been my time if you guys like my con like always smash that like button you guys know i appreciate that if you guys have any questions or comments put them down below you guys can see man i answer everybody if for some crazy reason you know i can't answer them because you know i'm not awake or whatever check out the community telegram I'm telling you, man, these guys are DJ monsters, all right? They're from all around the world, which means they're up 24-7. So no matter what question you guys got, trust me when I say, man, so we'll be able to help you. But besides all that, this is like the third, fifth, or like 10th video, mind yo, that you watched. You still ain't hit that subscribe yet, yo. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> all right, homies. Y'all stay up, all right? Peace. <laughs> Hold that random bitch, hold that random